addiction, and the weather. What the heck does that have to do with anything, right? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you a story, actually. So I was, a couple weeks ago, I was sitting in a park. I was standing in a park. My daughter's four. She was playing in the playground. And a woman came up to me and, um, and asked me to stop being inappropriate. And what I was actually doing is I was participating in one of our clubhouse calls. And it was about our four-step system for recovery, which is CARE. Connection, Action Steps, Recovery, Protection, and Education. And she said that I was making her and her daughter very uncomfortable. So what is this about? What this is about is it's about stigma, right? We need to get to the point where talking about addiction is normal, that it's not stigmatized. It's an illness. It's in the brain. Do we get mad about people for talking about headaches or cancer or anything like that or MS? No. No, they're not stigmatized, but addiction is stigmatized. So I talk about addiction anywhere I can. I want people to understand that there is nothing wrong with them for having the disease of addiction and that it's okay to be exactly who you are and that as a person with addiction that you can truly recover. And what I mean is that you can truly create a life filled with joy, meaning, and purpose that you can become a better version of yourself every single day. I think people are afraid. They're afraid of addiction. They don't know what to do with it. They feel like they're, they're, they have no control. And they're screwed. And that there's no way out. And it's just this big old thing. And they don't know how to deal with it. And the way that we eat an elephant is one teaspoon at a time. That's what Coach Anna likes to say. And it's true. We have to take this step by step by step. So I wanted to ask you, maybe maybe you're willing to tell one other person that you might have addiction and what that means to you. One other person. Maybe you're not ready and that's okay, but I want to give you the challenge because I think it's so important that we have safe and open discussions about this, about what it's like. And, and what is it like to have to go to a Christmas party as a food addict? What is it like to have to go into the teacher's lounge at work as a food addict? What are the challenges that you face? What are you afraid of? What's working well? What hasn't worked for you? But let's talk about addiction. Let's talk about the one thing that's been holding us back for our entire life so we can get to the point of freedom, so we can get better, and so we can do better, right? Because when we do better, we get to get better. So help me to destroy the stigma. Be honest with who you are. You don't have to tell everyone. But I do challenge you to tell just one person. And tell me what happens as a result. I believe in you.